In today's episode of Educating the League, we're scoring goals, making enemies and getting job offers. We started September in the Papa John's Trophy as despite playing in front of one of the club's lowest ever attendances, we got a 3-0 victory at home against Brentford's under-21s. We then returned to the important business in the league and we got another 3-0 victory at home, this time against Wigan Athletic, Abu Kamara getting two in the first half and Patrick Bauer wrapping things up in the 54th minute. Our away problems then continued as we had a 0-0 draw against promotion rivals Coventry and a disappointing 1-1 draw against struggling Birmingham, Dion Charles getting us a late equaliser in that one. We then return to Casson Park with another 3-0 victory. This time, Lincoln were the visitors. Abu Kamara, Patrick Bauer and Scott Banks with the goals. Abu Kamara is proving to be one hell of a signing. Our impressive form continued as we got a 2-0 victory at home against Sutton United. Abu Kamara with goals in the 7th minute from the penalty spot and the 18th minute to wrap up the victory. Following that, we finally got our first win away from home of the season. Sheffield Wednesday were the team we beat. Scott Banks getting a goal in the 70th minute and an Andrew Hughes own goal in the 92nd minute. And it wrapped up the game as we can finally hope to start to go on a run away from home. Apparently, losing at home to us was so embarrassing that Sheffield Wednesday felt they had no other option but to sack their manager, Neil Thompson. The away form didn't look to be improving immediately as we ended September with a disappointing 0-0 draw away at Stevenage. But that does mean that September was Almost perfect as we scored 14 goals and only conceded one during the whole month. It was a good month as well for Patrick Bauer, who won the League One Player of the Month after making six appearances, scoring twice, getting himself four clean seats and an average rating of 7.10. We ended the month fourth in the table with 22 points, only two off Coventry and Cardiff at the top of the table. As we moved into October, Abu Kamara's seventh goal of the season gave us a victory against Charlton Athletic to make it 10 games unbeaten. Next up was a repeat of the playoff semi-finals from last season and we managed to get revenge on Rotherham United. Britta Sombalonga got two, but Tyler Smith scored in the first minute and the 92nd minute to get us a 3-2 win in a hell of a game. We then look to be heading towards the most useless penalties of all time until Dion Charles stepped up to give us a 2-1 victory in the 94th minute against Cardiff as we progressed from the EFL Trophy group with a game to spare. Our run of 12 games unbeaten with Oxford seemed to be impressing people as championship teams Hull, Huddersfield and Bolton all offered us job interviews so of course I went along to have a chat with all of those nice chairmen. After a 10 day break we returned to matters on the field and it was a case of deja vu as we again beat Cardiff 2-1 away at their place. Alex Mighton this time getting us both the goals for that particular victory to make it 13 unbeaten. The 22nd of October then seemed to be have a go at Spencer Taylor Day as the ex-Oxford manager Carl Robinson said that he made my job easy with the good work that he did. But wait a minute, that was more than two years ago. So what on earth is he on about? And then immediately he was followed by Scott Brown, the Fleetwood manager, who we came up against next. He wasn't happy with my criticism from the last time we played them, which, to be honest, I can't remember. 
But maybe I should have remembered that criticism because Scott Brown's Fleetwood Town beat us one goal to nil. Junior Coturner getting the goal from the penalty spot in the 16th minute. We didn't let that one slip up affect us too much as we immediately got back to winning ways against Doncaster Rovers. Marcus Brown and Tyler Smith with the goals to give us a 2-0 victory there. We also had the draw for the FA Cup first round and much to my delight it drew us against my favourite opponents Cambridge United as we're again going to be competing in the boat race derby. We ended the month with a very poor performance against MK Dons. We lost two goals to one in a game where we was absolutely awful. That result means that we finished the month 6th in League 1, now 4 points behind Cardiff who are still top of the table. The two bottom teams in the championship, Huddersfield and Bolton, both sent me job offers. Huddersfield's is for almost three times the amount of money I'm making here at Oxford. And so, am I tempted to take it? Am I going to still be at Casson Park in the next episode? You're going to have to find out next time in Educating the League.